I personally think it's really dumb to say all white people are racist, but I do think a majority of you white folks use microaggressions. I'm not sure if y'all know it or not, but them bitches be crazy. But I'ma just need y'all to peep game and lock in. Literally like two hours ago, I just got out of my microbio lab. And for some reason in my lab, there wasn't enough microscopes. So my teacher was counting out everybody who had one. He's like, okay, Haley got one, Jasmine got one. Then he pointed to me and he said, it looks like Brian stole one over there. And I'm sure he didn't mean that in a racist way, but why my black ass gotta be the one that stole something? Like nigga, what? Nah, actually that shit was so crazy, I'ma say the N-word twice. Nigga, nigga, what? And it don't be just black guys that experience this shit. Actually, black girls experience it more. Like I got this one homegirl named Erin, and obviously she got a lot of melanin, like myself. And we were at work, and in our group chat, we do this thing once a month called congrats, where you send a text in the group chat saying congrats to somebody. And someone said, congrats, Erin, you're such a queen. You're so incredibly strong. When we both heard this shit, we looked at each other, and we're like, what the fuck? Why the black girl gotta be so strong? Yesterday I told y'all calling a black woman strong is a microaggression and y'all said I was reaching. So now I gotta school y'all little ass boys. So I'ma need y'all to peep game and lock the fuck in. I know a majority of y'all have watched the P-Hub. How the fuck do they depict black men on the P-Hub? As fucking animalistic beasts. Y'all know the titles I'm talking about? 8 inch BBC destroys teen white girl. So when they treat black men as these hyper masculine beasts, what do you think that does to the black boy? It makes society view them as a grown ass man. Take two 10 year olds, a white boy and a black boy and give them a hood. Society will see that black boy as a grown ass man and that white kid as a little boy. That is what microaggressions do. And the same thing applies to black women. When society keeps deeming black women as strong, shit like this happens. Black women are three times more likely to die while giving birth than their white counterparts. That is not because doctors are racist. They subconsciously perform these surgeries thinking black women are so strong like fucking Kryptonians to the point that the black woman dies.